Hello everyone, my name is Crow and welcome to the first episode of the Minecraft Bedrock Guide. This is a survival let's play which is also going to be almost like a tutorial series. There are a lot of ways to play Minecraft and I'm going to teach you how I like to play Minecraft. We are starting a brand new world but instead of it being just a, a single player world, we will be playing on a realm with a couple of my friends. We are currently on Minecraft 1.14.1 and you know what that means. We have bees. You can see a bee nest over there right behind my head. And in this first episode, we will be one, gathering some early resources, two, crafting our basic tools, and three, finding shelter and surviving our first night. So you've started up your first brand new world, and what do you do? Well, the first thing you have to do is obviously punch a tree. That's all you have to do punch a tree, and then you'll be set. Honestly, I'm just joking. Um, but it's pretty much. Starting off with trees is the first thing you ever want to do in every Minecraft world. So you just want to left click and you'll start punching a tree and you will require you will gather one log. And I'm pretty much going to chop down this entire tree because nobody likes to see floating trees. Nobody likes that. Please don't be that person. So now you have got your first set of logs. What do you do? So you're going to press E on the keyboard and you will see this two by two grid. This is very important. You're going to grab one log and put it in there and you're going to get four wooden planks after you grab your four wooden planks you're going to put all of them in this spot right here and that will make a crafting table and you're just going to set that down when you're holding it in your hand plus uh your right right click and you're going to go on there and see it upgrades to a three by three instead of a two by two so we're pretty much going to turn all the, our wooden logs into planks and the first thing you want to do after you make your crafting table is make some tools and how do you make some tools well first of all you're going to have to put some some planks in this shape and you'll get some sticks after you get some sticks you want to put the sticks as well in this position and you want to create a a wooden pickaxe after you get your wooden pickaxe you're going to hold it in your hand and you're going to go mine some stone after you have acquired some cobblestone from mining stone you should definitely start upgrading from wooden tools to stone tools that's why i only made a wooden pickaxe because you don't want to get the other wooden tools because they they are honest, they're honestly not that good so how do you upgrade? So you're going to do the exact same thing. All tools start off with the same sticks on in this section. And we are going to make a stone pickaxe. Uh, and we're going to probably get some more sticks while I'm at it. And I'm just going to leave them right there. And we're going to get a stone shovel, a stone axe, and a stone sword. So now that you have these, you are pretty much set at the beginning of the game. So what you want to do is pick up your crafting table and mine up some more... Mine up some more uh, wood just in case because you're definitely going to need them. Wood is such an invaluable resource. And these right here are saplings. So pretty much when you place them down, after a while, they will grow up to be trees. But since we, I basically think I will be living here in the jungle, I, I basically have an unlimited source of wood. But you also want to make sure it stays like a jungle and not just it turns into a plains biome. So you got your tools. What do you have to do now? You pretty much want to find a source of food because you see those little hunger, those little chicken bones right there at the bottom, bottom right, or towards the middle. You want to keep those full so you don't go hungry and you don't start taking damage and so you can sprint. And by doing so, well, you got to eat and well, sorry sheep. Early on in the game, you kind of want to kill some, a few amount of animals. Pretty much just like this cow over here. It's the only one around. Oh no, there's another one. So I'm just going to kill a couple animals just to get some basic food up. And something important that you should do early on in game is if you find some sheep, you might as well just go kill them ahead because you want to get these wool. This uh, this white block right here, white wool. You pretty much want to get three to get exactly three. And why three, you ask? Because when it turns into night, the sun will set. And when it becomes night, monsters will start spawning. And I think you already saw some in the water that's a drowned. It's a water zombie. As I was walking around trying to find animals to kill, I found one of these. A berry bush. And these are very good early on. So you just pretty much right click and you'll get some berries out of them. Sweet berries. And you can eventually uh, plant these so you can have some more berries so you can eat them later. Earlier on I said that I wanted to live in the jungle. And why did I say that exactly? It's because early game... They have a bunch of watermelons, and you know what that means. I get to eat. 
So as I've been exploring around, I have just see little bits of pumpkins every here and then. And I am just picking them up and just using them for food. Because even though they don't fill up a lot of your hunger, they do give you a lot in return. And they're pretty much, you can find them anywhere. And as I keep on exploring the jungle, finding a place where I should probably settle down, it's good to eat to find them every once in a while and pick them up so you can have something to eat eventually. And we are back after exploring for a while and currently the night sitting. Check this place out. Look how amazing this place looks. It even has this big ravine. And this is probably one of the rarest biomes I think in Minecraft. It's like called a bamboo jungle forest. Just look how much bamboo there is. And quickly before the monster starts spawning, I'm going to put down my crafting table and put down these wooden planks and some wool on top and making a bed. I do not want to deal with the monster. And as you can tell, it's already daytime again. We're going to pick up our stuff and look around this place. But honestly, just look at this view. It looks really incredible. And this is not just it. There's a lot more to it. I'm just going to come around over here and I'm going to show you guys. This other part right behind this mountain that I really, really like and I am already filled with inspiration on what to build over here. So I was currently over there and behind this mountain when I was standing over there, you wouldn't be able to see it. But just look at this nice little lake. I'm already filled with inspiration of building like a little, little lake village over here. And on top of that, it's also connected to the ocean, which just means we could possibly build like a like a boat dock and stuff and then probably go explore maybe find an ocean monument over there a coral reef mushroom biome who knows and also i really like how just like the entire bamboo field just it just looks really incredible i think i'm pretty much gonna be staying around in this little area right here behind me it's pretty flat it's good enough to build a house after i get rid of some of this jungle trees that's what they're called, jungle trees, and this bamboo. So you've survived your first night in Minecraft. You got yourself a couple of brand new tools. And you can see me over here. I was over here a while ago. I had to make another pickaxe because it, it broke. I mean, my sword broke from fighting all the mobs. So what do you do now? Well, I pretty much don't want to build a brand new giant house at the moment. But, I, but one of the things that you can do is find a little cave and just settle down in there, which is... For example, right here. It's a circular room. Good enough. I'm going to go get some torches. See if I find any coal down here. So early on in game, you want to make sure that your place is pretty well lit up. But at the moment, I do not have any coal and there's none in this cave. So what you're going to do is go into your crafting table and make a furnace in this orientation. You're going to pick up your furnace. I'm going to put it down over here at the moment since you can still see some light over here. I'm just going to go in there and put some logs at the top. And I'm going to use this old wooden pickaxe as fuel. That's why it's good to save your stuff early in game so you can use it as fuel. Since at the moment I do not have any coal. And after it's been burned up, we will, we will get one charcoal. And it pretty much works as the same thing as regular coal. So you want to go, you can honestly just press E and use this crafting grid. So you want to get some more sticks. And so you put a stick right there and a piece of charcoal on top and you will get four torches. So I'm going to put one here, 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 and here. And while this one keeps on burning up, oh, we already got two more. Perfect. So we're going to use these as well as torches now because you want to make sure things are lit up so no mobs spawn. And, you know, they don't ambush you and just kill you and then you lose your stuff. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to put down my bed down here and right click and you will see at the top left it says respawn point set so if i were to die i would just spawn back right here on my bed and if i were to die down there i would just go back and get my stuff and we got one more piece of charcoal and we are just gonna make some more just to make sure set these bad boys down here i hope you guys like this first episode of the minecraft bedrock guide make sure to leave a like and comment if there's anything else you'd like to know about this game i'll make sure to cover it in one of our following episodes if you enjoyed please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye <laughs>